And it's a little unusual for Mississippi, I think, because it is the Ulysses S. Grant Presidential Library. Some people have asked, what is the Ulysses S. Grant Presidential Library doing in Mississippi? Fair question. To which I hope we can give you a fair answer in this story. We're in the Ulysses S. Grant Presidential Library and then the Frank and Virginia Williams Collection of Lincolniana. These two museums house the collections of the Ulysses S. Grant Association and then the Lincolniana Collection of Frank and Virginia Williams. The Grant Collection moved to Mississippi State in 2008. And as of November of last year, we have opened this new gallery space with a reading room, processing room, cold storage, and office space. So it's much larger than the initial area that the library had. It is a partnership between the Ulysses S. Grant Association and uh, Mitchell Memorial Library and Mississippi State University. The first thing you notice when you come in is just the quality of the museum itself. It's a very nice gallery. People are also taken back by the life-size statues that we have of Grant throughout his life. There are four of them specifically. We also have some really neat video interactives that people can mess around with. Um, it's, it's a very engaging gallery and it's, it's, I think it's really appealing to, to children as well. We believe, and we're pretty sure about this, that we have every letter Grant ever wrote and every letter ever written to him. So if a scholar or a student wants to come and look at this material, they can be pretty sure that they have got everything that's available. My absolute favorite artifact in the Grant Museum is the book that contains photographs from Grant's funeral. What we have in our collection is one of four that we know to be in existence. And then we have the original on display along with a virtual model that people can flip through and actually see the photographs from the end of Grant's life and from the funeral itself. And it helps us preserve the original while also giving people access to the content there. One of the things that people really react to are some of the paintings that Grant did that are in our museum here. I mean, he was a great painter, and nobody knows. I said, he did that? I said, yeah, he did that. So I love that, too. Usually the first question that we get when someone comes in is, how is the Ulysses S. Grant Presidential Library in Mississippi? I had that question myself when I first applied to the job. I thought it was a typo, but. We have encountered many surprised people. Almost all of them have been pleasantly surprised to find this here, and people are very pleased to be able to visit a presidential library right here in the heart of Mississippi. We've gone and we've spoken at various places around the state. People come from around the state, and the usual reaction is pride, that we here in Mississippi have something as valuable as this. And we like to point out something that's in one of our cases, where Grant and Lincoln are talking one time when Grant is fighting against uh, Lee in Virginia. And Lincoln says to Grant, hold on with a bulldog grip. And of course, Mississippi State is the home of the bulldogs. So we argue that even Lincoln knew it was coming here. But actually the real reason is because Mississippi State just wanted this and was willing to do and is willing to continue doing what has to be done. The Grant Collection was held at the University of Southern Illinois for quite a number of years. At the death of longtime editor John Y. Simon, the Grant Association began looking for a new place to house and hold the Grant Collection. It is at which time the Grant Association President Frank J. Williams, the retired Chief Justice of the Rhode Island Supreme Court, began the process of looking for a new place to hold the Grant Collection. We had a great relationship with Southern Illinois University, but it soured. And so it was decided that we make a change. And that change was to bring the collection to Mississippi State University, where our second executive director resided as emeritus, John Mazalik. So it all made sense to do this. And with the help of two interim presidents and Dr. Mark Keenum, the current president of Mississippi State, they 
formed an agreement to move the grant collection down to Mississippi State. And it came here because Mississippi State really did the best job to do what had to be done to host this whole operation. Housed alongside the Presidential Library, we have the Frank and Virginia Williams Collection of Lincolniana, which is, was one of the largest privately owned Lincoln collections in the world. It was donated by a uh, former Chief Justice of the Rhode Island Supreme Court, Frank J. Williams. He and his wife, Virginia, had always wanted for their Lincolniana collection to go to a university, particularly in the South, that would really provide opportunities for students to see things and to interact with research that they might not have other opportunities to. The Frank and Virginia Williams Collection of Lincolniana, as it's now called, really started with my buying used Lincoln books at age 13, and then it continued. So this has been a 50 plus year love affair and passion of collecting and also reading as much as one can and studying the man, the leadership of Lincoln and those in the Civil War. We have all kinds of people that come in to visit. Um, we have researchers that come in to, to look through our collections. Um, we also just have local people that come in. Plus, we've had people literally from all over the world, not just places like England, but places like Thailand. Today, there's a group coming from Japan. And most of our people are people who come and like to see presidential libraries. And I have to brag a little bit because one of the visitors we had, it was her last presidential library. And she said, I just want to tell you, you have the best of all of them. And that's a wonderful thing because I've seen some of the others and they're wonderful too. Thanks for joining us. If you like what you see, subscribe to Mississippi Public Broadcasting. Till next time, I'll be seeing you on Mississippi Roads.